<laughs> yes. Um, so this is only my second cruise, and this year is like a month earlier than last year. Do you find that the change in time for the year has really impacted the kind of talent that you've been able to get? The question is, does time of year impact uh, the, the attendance? And yeah, there are there are dozens upon dozens, teeming dozens of factors that go into what impacts attendance. And I think this year, we actually, we actually did uh, consciously slow things down a bit this year. And we're all, we always look for the best value. And this year, it was this eight night itinerary, um, in part because eight nights, let's try that. And that it had some new destinations and it had lots of sea days, which are great. Um, but yes, I do think that being closer to January 1st means fewer people are going to do it. Uh, and the length as well probably had some impact. Were you asking about attendance or performer? Performer. Oh, performer okay. Uh, I can speak to that to a certain degree. Uh, it, yes and no in that, uh, without getting too far into it, from roughly mid-January through most of February is what they call pilot season, where basically they're trying to create all the new television shows and they're casting them during those times. And for actors and in particular comedians, they could get called basically at any minute for an audition somewhere. Uh, and it's an important time for a lot of working actors because it's when they may potentially get jobs. So there's a lot of comedians that we had considered and maybe wanted to have on the cruise who just aren't available because they have to stay in town for that. And that's been a factor no matter when we've timed it because of this time of the year. Uh, also, it wasn't intentional, but the cruise this year overlaps San Francisco Sketchfest, uh, which we were bummed about when we realized that happened because a lot of our friends and a lot of incredibly talented comedians were already booked for that. Um, but it, it's always sort of a give and take, and no matter when we schedule it, something's going to happen. This was sort of a perfect storm, and mostly just among our Rolodex and people we know. But perfect that forced storm. us to expand and find some people that we haven't had before, like we had Rhea and Hari, and they were both outstanding. Uh, and unfortunately, Cameron, that for example, Cameron uh, was forced to cancel because she got offered a role on a TV series. And yeah, and it's, like, it's, it's obviously not the first time we've had somebody cancel on us, but it's, a, you know, it's so funny. They're, they're always so apologetic. They're like, oh. I'm so sorry, but like I, I got a job on television. <laughs> well, yeah, dummy, you gotta take the job on television. Of course, don't come on the stupid cruise. Go, you know. So I, I, we, it's sort of built into the calculus a little bit that every, I mean, not every year, but you know, we we are we are prepared for such things, and it's you know, it's not, it's not easy to if you're an entertainer, um, uh, uh, and you're working kind of steadily, which is to say sporadically, but always, uh, it's, a, it's a hard sell to get, uh, to take a whole week off, uh, you know, or more, you know, in, in the case of this cruise, and, and, uh, and be, uh, be unavailable for a job. So it's, it's always a challenge, no matter when it happens, and there are so many things going on in the world that we're always going to overlap with something. Um, so, you know, Hopefully, we're an attractive enough uh, proposition that uh, we get past those things. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call Drew. Sure. It's sort of uh, this is gonna be funny. Ah, it's sort of part of that question. I imagine, or we're gonna get this question anyway. Is you know, will you have person X or person Y for Joe Co Cruise? And I think the short answer is, if it's a big name that a lot of people are excited about, we probably have have asked them at some point. Uh, and might continue to, or are planning to, but there, there are so many factors that go into if an act can come or not. <laughs> I was just thinking that, you know, both Paul Tompkins no and John Hodgman can come, and they're often regulars, and both have been villain candidates. <laughs> um, totally. Yeah. yeah, both excellent villains, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hodgman and Tompkins. Uh, yeah, I, I think they couldn't come for different different reasons, but yeah. I, I, uh, I feel their, I feel their absence, for sure. Yeah.